tell us, Phyllis, are there any other uh, female comedians that, that uh, over, over the course of uh, your career that, that inspired you uh, to be the great that you are? Well, you know, when I started, I was the first. I mean, I suppose that Moms Mabley was actually before I was, but she was more skit comedy, more burlesque. As far as stand-up, I was the first. I started off doing props for a very short time and realized that that's, that was more of a joke than um, a comedian. So I lost the props. I maintained my cigarette for a while, which, in fact, I don't even smoke. A little secret there. Oh, really? We did not know that. Yeah, I save that cigarette for my worst enemies. I'll offer them a cigarette someday. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, I was the first female comedian. And then behind me, Joan Rivers came up behind me and some of the others that uh, went on to be iconic. Well, you certainly inspired a lot of female comedians and probably even a few males, too, with your routine that have followed you. I know for one, I'm not a, I'm not a comedian, but... I, I really do enjoy your work. It's it's uh, it's it's very light. It's very funny, and it's quite different than the comedy that we find uh, today, which can be a bit raunchy. You were never that type of comedian. No, I wanted to entertain the masses from two to two hundred and have family fun. Now you got to remember when I started, nobody was talking about a housewife and the kids and her lazy husband. Bang! Nobody was talking about that sort of stuff. So I really paved the way for women to come up behind me, and it was not easy, not at all. 